Hey everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I have another DIY doll room tutorial or diorama and I'm super excited because today's room I'm making is actually for a guy. I have so many Barbie doll rooms, I don't have any like Ken doll or guy doll rooms, so I'm super duper excited. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Basically, what I have going on right here is I have a nice big box, which will be the main base of our room to get us started. So I will quickly make the measurements appear on the screen so you guys can have the same size room as me if you want. I'm gonna get started with actually transforming this all into an epic doll guy room. The first thing I want to do is make a window on that back wall. So I just flipped the room around. So this right here is actually the back wall. This is where we're going to put the window. So I'm measuring a window in the center of this back wall that is three inches from the floor and is six inches wide and nine inches long. Then I'm just going to cut that out. Now I'm just gonna take some long strips of white paper and I'm just going to glue them to cover all of those rough edges. And then I'm just gonna repeat that around all of the rough edges that I wanna cover, including the inside of our window we just made. Now what I wanna do is start to cover the walls. I'm actually using a gray color and I'm just going to glue that onto the back wall here. Now I'm going to cover the other two walls with this nice blue color. And lastly, I'm going to glue on this really nice flooring. Now I'm gonna start on the window. So I'm just using some clear plastic from some packaging and I'm just going to glue it right where the window is going to look like some nice glass. Now I'm just taking some foam board strips and I'm just going to glue them around the window. Now I'm also taking more foam board strips and I'm just gonna glue them around the bottom of the room for baseboards. So this is the room so far and I'm really excited because now we are gonna get started on the furniture. And the first thing I wanna do is make the bed. So to make the bed, I'm gonna start off by measuring a piece of cardboard that is 12 inches by seven inches. And then I'm just gonna cut that out with my X-Acto knife. Then I'm gonna measure and cut two pieces that are three inches by 12 inches. Then cutting another piece that is three inches by a little over seven inches. Then I'm gonna take these three cardboard strips that we just cut out and wrap them in some wood green scrap of paper. Now I'm going to take these three pieces and glue them around this big piece we cut earlier, but I'm just going to glue these pieces half an inch from the top around the edge. So it should look something like this. Then I'm gonna cut one more piece that is eight by six inches out of cardboard. And then I'm gonna also cover that in that same wood grain scrap of paper. And then I'm going to glue that piece to the other end of the bed for the headboard of the bed. So now we have the very basic frame for the bed. So then I just cut three pieces of foam board and fit right into the little spot here where the mattress is gonna go on the bed. So I'm just going to glue these pieces together. And then what I'm gonna do is take a couple of these just like sheets of fluffy filling and I'm going to lay and glue down a few sheets of those on top of those three foam board pieces. So the mattress will have a nice cushioning to it. 
I'm going to cover it in a white fabric. This is a white cotton fabric. And basically I'm just going to lay it on top, flip it over and I'm going to glue down the sides underneath. So now we can add our new bed to the room along with the mattress that we just made. And it should fit perfectly right inside the bed there. Now for the comforter, I cut a 14 by 11 inch rectangles. I have the main pattern facing good side inside. And then I have another piece that kind of coordinates with this with also the good side facing the good side of this piece. And then I just have a piece of fleece on top. And then I'm just gonna sew around the edge, leave an opening so I can flip it inside out. Now I'm just going to add our new quilt to the bed. Then I just made two small white pillows. I also have this little kind of drape piece. I don't even know what this is called. And I'm just putting that over the end of the bed. And then I just made two more smaller decorative pillows. I especially like this one. I used some acrylic paint and just painted on Eat, Sleep, and Surf, then some cute little palm trees and a surfboard. Now I'm gonna cut out two pieces of cardboard that are three and a half inches by three inches. Then I'm gonna cut two pieces that are three and a half inches by two and a half inches. So I'm gonna take one of the smaller pieces and glue it to one of the bigger pieces. And then glue the other small piece on the other side. And then lastly, I'm going to glue the other big piece to the other side. So now we have a rectangular prism. Then I'm just going to cover this piece in some more of this scrap of paper that coordinates with the bed frame. So now I have the box covered and it doesn't really look that nice from the back, but it doesn't matter too much because we're not going to be seeing the back. And I don't need to cover the inside because we won't be seeing that either. I'm then going to cut a piece that is four inches by three inches. I'm also going to cover this piece in that same paper. And now I'm going to glue that piece on top of our end table so far. Then I'm going to cut two more pieces that are two and a half inches by one and a half inches. I cover them in that same wood grain paper. And then I glue these pieces for drawers on the front of our end table. So although these drawers don't actually open, I do think it still looks pretty cool. So now I'm just gonna place this cute little end table over here beside the bed. And now I actually kind of feel like this room could use some really nice curtains. So I think that is what we're gonna work on next. So I just cut a nice piece of fabric that has this nice navy blue color to it. And this is five inches by 13 inches. And now I'm just going to fold over and sew down the edges to hem them. Now that I have all of the edges nicely hemmed, I am going to pick one of the smaller sides to be the top of the curtain. And then I'm going to use my sharp scissors to cut six little holes along the top evenly spaced. So now that I have six little holes, I'm going to take this wooden dowel, which is going to be the curtain rod, and I'm going to stick it through the first hole, then the second one, then the third, kind of as you can see I'm doing here, to put the curtain on the curtain rod. So I just spent a little bit of time ironing down the pleats so that when the curtain is hanging up, there will be nice and pristine cleats on the curtain. And now I'm going to put the curtain back on the rod. So I actually repeated that a second time. So now I have two curtains on the curtain rod. And now what I'm actually going to do is take two really short pieces of wooden dowel. So I'm just taking my hot glue and gluing those little pieces to the ends of the curtain rod. And 
Now what I'm going to do is glue the curtain rod in place over the window. So now we have some really nice curtains in his room that can be open and closed. To make a desk for his room, I'm cutting a piece out of foam board that is five and a half inches by two inches and a quarter. Then I cut out strips of foam board that are three quarters of an inch wide and glue them around the edges of the larger piece we just cut out. Then I'm gonna cut four pieces of foam board that are a quarter of an inch by six inches. And then I'm going to glue those pieces to the sides of the table for legs. And cut four more foam board strips that are a little bit shorter and then glue them between the legs for extra support. I also glue ones at the top here. Then lastly, I cut and glue a piece to the top of the desk. And now we can place the desk in his room. And I do wanna mention, I did shorten the legs a little bit off camera because I did feel like the desk was getting too tall. So now the overall height of the desk is about five and a half inches. But I think I'm just going to place it in the corner over here. To make the chair for our desk, I am going to be drawing out a circle on some paperboard. I'm just using my Mod Podge container here. Then I cut that out and I'm cutting around a little bit because I want it to be a little bit bigger than the circle here. Then I'm just going to glue this down and then cut it out again so it'll be twice as strong. I'm going to kind of draw out a piece that is two inches wide and about four inches long. And I'm kind of going to draw out half a circle inside of this rectangle. And then I'm gonna cut that out. Then just like we did for the seat of the chair, I'm going to glue this onto more paperboard to make it stronger. Then I'm gonna kind of bend this piece so that it'll be able to fit around the circle that we made earlier. It's best to do this when the hot glue is still drying, otherwise it might be kind of hard. So now I'm just gonna glue these two pieces together. And now I'm going to cover this piece in some white cardstock. Now I'm grabbing this wooden dowel and I'm going to mark and cut three three inch pieces. Then I'm gonna glue these pieces to the bottom of our chair. And then I did quickly sew this little cushion to go onto the chair. So now we can add our new chair into the room. Now I wanna make a little shelving unit thing to go above the desk. So I'm gonna be using some popsicle sticks and I'm going to be marking them at two inches. And then I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and glue two together like this to make it a little bit thicker. If you had jumbo popsicle sticks, that would work much better because this isn't very strong if you glue it together like this. So you could only put on very lightweight objects that wouldn't break this little glued together shabby thing. Then I repeat this three more times. So now that we have four pieces, we can glue them together. to form a box shape. Then I'm going to repeat this once, and then I'm going to glue these boxes above the desk. I'm also kind of making a last minute decision here. I think it would look good if I added one more shelf to the wall, so I just quickly made one more and I'm gonna go glue it on. Now to make a TV stand for the room, I'm gonna be cutting more foam board pieces and then I cover them in that same wood grain paper as we did before. Now that I have all of these pieces covered, let's glue them together. 
First, I'm taking this long piece, which measures six inches by two inches, and I'm going to glue these two pieces to the side of them, which measure three inches by two inches. Then I'm gluing a piece two inches from one side. I glue the smaller piece in the center of the piece we just glued down. Then I glue another piece right here. And lastly, I'm just gluing another piece, just like the bottom one, right on top. So now we can place the TV stand into the room. I'm putting it across from the bed right here. So now we have a TV stand, but we are missing something very important. The TV. Now, because I want the TV to show a Netflix screen, because we know how much we all love Netflix. So basically, what I did was just took a screenshot on my Netflix account on my computer. If you don't have Netflix, you could just search up Netflix TV screen or something like that and basically just print it off to a size you want the TV to be and then just cut it out. Then I placed the cutout on some paperboard and I'm just going to trace around it with my pencil and then I'm going to cut this out. However, I'm going to cut a little bit around it because I do want a bit of a border for the TV. So I'm just cutting a little bit around it. Then I'm actually going to glue this piece down onto more paperboard and then cut that out so it'll be a little bit thicker and stronger. So now I'm going to cover this piece in some black cardstock. So now I'm going to glue this screen onto our black rectangle we just made. Then I'm wrapping a smaller cardboard piece in that same black cardstock and then glue that to the back of our TV. Lastly, I cover one more cardboard piece in black cardstock. This one is four by one and a half inches and glue it on the bottom of the TV. And now we can place the TV on top of the TV stand. I also do have this little remote that I made quite a while ago. Now what I actually wanna do because this room is kind of going to be themed for a surfer guy. I want to hang up a surfboard on the wall. My brother was so kind to make this surfboard for me out of wood, which is super duper awesome. And I thought it would look really cool if I could hang it above the TV here on the wall. So I'm just going to kind of hold up the surfboard where I would want it to go and then take my pencil and mark underneath. Now that I made two little marks for where I want the actual holder to stick out, what I'm gonna attempt to do is stick a toothpick right where I marked those spots so that it'll go through the wall and hopefully keep the holder sturdy. So let's see if we can do this. Oh, the toothpick has gone through. That was actually easier than I thought. Now I'm gonna repeat that over here as well. Now what I'm gonna do is take these little strips of foam board these are half an inch wide, and I'm going to stick the toothpick through this, or at least try to. Okay, so now this piece of foam board is very sturdy. I actually think these are a little bit too long, so I'm just gonna cut them off a little bit here. Now I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue to secure these pieces to the wall. Then I'm just going to glue these smaller foam board pieces on top of these other ones over here. Now let's test if this can hold our surfboard. I'm honestly terrified. Wow. I mean, it doesn't look great, but it does hold the surfboard, which is what we wanted. So it's not horrible. Now, because I actually want a shelf above the bed here, I just cut this foam board strip that is a little longer than the bed frame and I'm just going to glue it right above it. Then what I did is I just searched up some surf inspired photos on the web and printed them off. 
then I'm just gonna cut them out. Also leaving a little border so we can glue the frame on. Then, if I can open up the glue, I glue the pictures onto some cardstock. Then I cut them out. Then I cut strips of black cardstock and then glue them around the picture for a frame. So now we can put these pictures on the shelf. I can't decide if I like them leaning up better or if I should actually just put them onto the actual wall. Because I do think I like them a little better on the wall, but I'm still not 100% sure, I'm just gonna use a little bit of tape to hold them up on the wall so I can take them down if I want to. So now that we have those taped up there, I think I'm gonna actually put these little wooden letters that I got from the dollar store on the shelf that spell out the word SURF. And I actually think I'm gonna use a little bit of sticky tack to hold them down in place. Cause I'm not for sure if I'm gonna keep them here so I don't wanna glue anything, but I think sticky tack will do the job. Now for this blank spot over here, I actually have yet another surfboard that my brother made for me and this time I did paint on a little design and I really like how it turned out. I didn't finish the back yet so eventually I'm going to put something back there but for now I think it'll look really good if I lean up over here. I think it'd be really cool if I made some miniature trophies for the room so I'm just going to sketch out a mini surfboard shape on some paperboard. And then I just cut that out. And then I glue it to more cardstock to make it thicker and cut that out. Now that this is a little bit thicker, I glue the thinnest strip of cardstock down the center of the board. Then I have this little wooden block. I believe you can buy these at the dollar store in a pack and they're pretty cheap. So I'm just going to glue this surfboard onto this block. Then I'm gonna take some silver acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint our trophy silver. That does not look as good as I'd hoped it would. Change of plans. First, I'm actually going to paint the trophy black. Now that the black is dry, I'm just going to take a little bit of gray and kind of dry brush that on. Then using a toothpick and some black, I'm just gonna kind of like write on first. So it looks like he was first place. You know, I'm gonna sketch it out with my pencil first in case I'm making mistakes. Get it? I'm gonna sketch out, I'm gonna sketch it out with my pencil first. <laughs> Cause I'm writing first on this, Never mind. I'm gonna try to make one more trophy. For this one, I'm kind of curling up a piece of paperboard into a wave shape. And then to give it some water texture, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to just put on a whole bunch of glue to give it some texture, which hopefully will make it look like water. I have no idea. Now I'm just gonna let that dry. Then I just rolled this little tube out of some cardstock and I'm just going to glue that to the bottom of our wave. And then I glue the other end of the tube to a little square piece of cardstock. Once again, I'm going to paint the trophy black. Now for this trophy, I'm gonna be using some gold acrylic paint and kind of dry brushing it as well. Hopefully this looks like a wave, we'll find out. I mean, it's not great, but it's not horrible, right? I feel like from certain angles, you can kind of definitely see that wave look, but then like from other angles, it just looks like some weird spiral thing. So um, hopefully you'll they'll know that it's a surf trophy. If you maybe put with the other one, you'll kind of be able to tell, but maybe I should write first on this one too. Now to make a medal, because we're gonna pretend he won a couple medals too. I'm gonna use a little thumbtack to poke a hole in it. Then poke through with a toothpick to make it a little bit wider. I'm taking a very thin piece of cardstock and I'm gonna glue that around the edge. 
of the metal. Now that it has a border of cardstock, we can paint it black. Then taking silver acrylic paint, I'm going to dry brush the metal. Then with a toothpick, I'm going to write second on metal because we can't always get first. There's always a second and you're not gonna win every time. Now I'm just gonna take a little jump ring and put it through that hole and close it. Then I'm gonna take a small ribbon and stick it through that loop and then tie the ends where it's long enough so it'll go over a doll's head nicely. And cut off the ends to make a little metal. I made another one. This time I had a little charm that was kind of perfect for it. So I think these look really cute in the room. So now I'm just gonna add the trophies onto the shelf here. Like we did for the surfboard stand, I'm gonna take a toothpick and poke it through on this wall over here. And then I am gonna secure it with glue in the back of the wall on the other side too. But now we can hang our metals on the little hook here. Now I'm gonna add some more accessories to the room. Like this little lamp that I just made and I'm gonna place that on his nightstand. So I just went digging through my bin of random miniature doll accessory kind of stuff. So I did find some stuff and I'm just gonna add a couple of those things to the room. First thing I wanna do is add a couple of slices of pizza over here on his end table. I'm also just gonna add this little Sprite can. I'm gonna add this mini phone, which by the way, are available on my Etsy shop at Delightful Doll Shop. So make sure to go check that out. Just to kind of clutter up the space and make it look a little bit more realistic. Now his desk area is also looking very plain and boring. So we're gonna add a couple things to that as well. I'm gonna add this little clipboard. I'm also gonna add this mini iPad Pro and Apple Pencil, which <clears throat> by the way, are also available on my Etsy shop. I'm gonna add this little pencil holder. This is actually just like a little thimble. And I'm just putting some colored pencils in here, which again are available on my Etsy shop. I'm also gonna add this little snake plant, which I did learn how to make from a My Froggy Stuff video so make sure to check out her channel i love her tutorials for how to make plants so that's how i figured out how to make this plant i'm also just adding this random thingy me jig i forget what these are even called i'm just gonna put it in there just for some extra clutter i'm going to put a couple books on one of the shelves over here I quickly printed off two more smaller surf inspired pictures and covered the outside edges with black cardstock like we did earlier with those bigger pictures. And I'm just gonna put these in the two remaining shelves. Lastly, I feel like we need to add a couple things in this TV stand because it looks kind of plain and empty and boring. So in that weird bin of random accessory stuff, I found this super old Xbox or like, console that I made such a long time ago and it's honestly not that great looking but because when I put it in the shelf you can't really tell that it looks so horrible I'm just gonna put it in there anyways because we do need to fill up those shelves and I feel like a console would make sense to go with this whole tv stand and I did make a little console controller I don't even know to go with it so I'm just also gonna place that in the shelf in that same bin, I found a couple video games that I made a long time ago, and I think they would go well with this TV stand as well, so I'm just gonna kind of place them in the bottom shelf here. I found this miniature Rubik's Cube. Then lastly, I found this little Buddha sculpture ornament kind of thing, and it's super cute. This is from India. So I thought it'd be just kind of a cool thing to add and it would definitely bring back memories of India as well from when I was there. I'm also actually just gonna add a pair of slides into the room just to add a little something extra. And now I think this room is finally all completed. 
I'm honestly super happy with how it looks. It was super different for me because I'm used to making really girly stuff or just more Barbie-ish girl stuff in general. So it was a kind of a challenging, but also super fun to make this really surfer dude inspired room. So that was super duper fun. Let me know what's your favorite part of this room in the comments down below. Personally, it is very hard to pick just one thing that I really like. However, I do just love that surfboard that my brother made for me and I painted on. I think it really just brings the whole room together and adds that pop of color that it was kind of missing. Before we end today's video, the shout outs for today go to Kelsey Draw Moren, Crafting Unicorn, and Mia. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. And remember, if you want a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DD squad and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at underscore delightful dolls. And also make sure to check out my Etsy shop at delightful dolls shop. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. First time do you remember Can I take you there Back to when we felt like this was forever Can I take you there